If you like your jackets to have a bit of a retro twist and you like your brands to be British, then you're probably going to like the Gold Top 1958 jacket. And it's a fantastic addition to a very successful line of leathers from the Gold Top boys. This is a jacket that has 1950s American aviator styling behind it with this classic American style collar and a central, very sturdy, industrial strength stainless steel aero zipper. It's got a really nice style, but what is so notable about the gold top range of leathers and jackets, when you get close to them, you get to feel them, is just that really intangible element that they feel so sumptuously soft and nice to wear off the bike as well. And the fact their styling is always really good as well means that these are very popular items. They come in at a relatively reasonable mid 300 pound point generally for their jackets, which I think makes them quite competitive too. And there's no difference here with the 1958. So this comes in at 349 pounds. The real reason behind what makes these jackets feel as good as they do is the fact they use aniline leather. So leather comes in all forms and it can come usually with lots of blemishes and imperfections. So it's quite hard to find leather that comes in a large quantity that doesn't have lots of blemishes and imperfections. So the way that people usually approach coloring leather is to pigment dye it, which means to basically sort of lacquer over it with a color that hides a lot of those imperfections so that you can't see them in the finished article. When you're using aniline leather, you use a soluble dye that absorbs into the leather itself. And this is really good because it means you retain the natural finish and the appearance and the feel and the softness of that leather as it originally came in. And you can only therefore use the very best quality leather because it's fully on show, so there's nothing to hide. And the Gold Top guys really know how to source and work with the best leather that there is. And they actually go surprisingly for a very thick leather. So this is 1.4 mil thick, which for us is thicker than our average. But because it's such high quality and because it's aniline, because of the way they finish and process it, it feels so very soft. It doesn't feel any way like a 1.4 mil thick leather. So you get the best of both worlds, you get the thickness, but you also get the wonderful feel. So we're really very fond, as you can probably tell, of the way that these guys use the leather in their garments. They also come fitted with Knox Microlock CE approved level one armor in the shoulders and elbows accessed via internal Velcro storage pockets. And that can be nice and easily removed as well. And there's also a pocket to optionally upgrade for a level two C approved Microlock back armor as well if you want to do that. This is nice to see because Knox is hands down my favorite motorcycle armor on the market. It just simply works well in all temperatures and riding conditions, unlike some other similar slimline armors on the market. So it's also nice to see two British brands working together there. You don't get masses, by the way, of features on the jacket, other than the fact you've got a really nice leather jacket, if that's what you're after. So there's no particular gimmicks to show you or really much at all, apart from the fact you've got these two slanted waist access pockets, which are always open in the sense there's no zip closure to them. So they're literally therefore gonna be for your hands off the bike rather than storing anything as you go along. You've got the buckle systems either side to tailor it in a little bit at the waist and you've got the tassel pulleys on the cuffs as well, just to pull that in too. The sizing is true to size and the way they size it is in chest increments. So it makes trying to understand it very easy indeed. So we've got the 40 here and I have a 41 inch chest. So the 40 therefore should be my size and I should be on the upper limit of it, which is exactly where I am. As you can see, this is quite fitted. That's how I like it. And I could easily get away with a size up in a 42 if I preferred a slightly looser fit. So that's not unusual. It's quite common if you are in between the two sizes to be able to go for one or the other, depending on your preference. So I would go for the 40. I like that kind of look, but do note, as you can see, the arms just are a tiny bit short on me, perhaps. Um, obviously not a problem if you just go for a longer glove, but I've also got a long torso with longer arms, so it tends to be less of a problem on most people. So uh, just bear that in mind though, if um, you, like me, have slightly longer arms. So the jacket has this really nice internal aspect to it as well, which is a nice little treat to yourself when you actually put the jacket on and actually get to see it. So you've got this gold quilted, nice soft padded interior. So although it is padded, there's a small degree of insulation element to it. It's not overly thick. I think in terms of the weight of the jacket, this is a great option for Britain in the sense that it's gonna get you through most of the year, except for the very hot days. They're probably the ones that this doesn't cater the best to in terms of the lack of ventilation and just the general thickness of the leather as well. So you've got a horizontally accessed YKK zip there, which is probably the best choice in terms of where you're actually gonna put your belongings. So this is in stock and available now and do stay tuned because there's gonna be some more jackets coming in from Gold Top later in the season, but this is the one to get us up and running. Really like it, but would love to know what you guys think in the comments section below. So stay tuned for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.